Hey guys, what's up? Today we're going to be doing an unboxing of a few cubes. I'm not exactly sure what's in here. I do have an idea, but uh, let's just get straight into it. All right, let's take a look inside. Okay, so this should be, I believe, a four by four. And, oh, this is the new uh, X-Man, I believe, the X-Man Vault Square One. And here, this is interesting. This looks like it's the Boron Treated Gans Air UM. And this, these are from Cubicle Labs. This is just a normal cube. And finally, the business card. All right, so let's just get straight into this, starting off with the thing I'm least excited for, the Vault Square One. Comes with a pamphlet, has plastic wrap on it. Take that off. It looks interesting. It, it has primary plastic on the inside, so that gives a neat look. And then the the holes sort of remind me of old um, YJ three by threes, like the Chilong and the Sulong. But let's just get straight into the first turns and see how this performs. Now, I do not do square one, so I am clearly not that great at turning. All right, so it has an interesting feeling. It's very swishy and sort of clicky on the slice layer, uh, and it's has decent corner cutting. I don't know how you really measure corner cutting on a square one. Um, and it does feel slightly blockier than my chi uh, and less flexible. It's more put together. That could be a good thing. I'll have to test it out. It's not really doing great right now, but I can tell that it needs to be broken in. Uh, but yeah, I don't really want to spend too much time on the square one because I don't do square one that much. Um, but it does seem to have potential. I'll just have to set it up and break it in and see how it does after that. All right, next we have this box with Ubercuber on it. I'm guessing this is a 4x4, but we will see if I can get under here. There we go. Yes, this is a 4x4. All right, this, I'm almost positive, is the... Cubicle Wooch Way with Magnets. Let's get right in here. Ooh, has some grease on it. Very wet. I don't know if you can see that reflection. There's lots of water on here. Let me go clean that off. All right, so it looks like it has my sticker shades on it already, um, but let's just get into first turns. All right, so yeah, I can definitely tell this has magnets. It's an interesting feeling. It's also very fast, um, and as I'm turning it, the lubricant on the inside is seeping to the outside. Let me wipe it off one more time. Yeah, I'm not sure what lubricant is in this, but it does seem to be getting to the outside very easily. Um, but once I figure that out, I think this will be a great 4x4. I'll just have to get used to the magnets, because I'm not... Um, turning as well as I normally would, and I think I just have to get used to the turning on this 4x4. But it definitely seems like it has potential. Although the corner cutting isn't great. That could have to do with tensions, I don't know. Kind of curious what lubricant is in this. I'll have to ask Chris Tran about that. Um, but hopefully eventually it will start staying on the inside of the cube instead of the outside. But yeah, that's all I'm going to say about this cube, because uh, I can't really turn it without getting my hands super wet. Uh, but I will most likely be having a review of this cube out sometime over the summer, so look out for that. Anyway, on to the final cube. I am moving pretty quickly in this unboxing. Hopefully that's okay. You got the normal Gans Air UM stuff. All the springs, pamphlets. 
All right, so this is my first boron cube. As you can see, it is gray, but apparently it will wipe off. Um, so first turns. Hmm. This feels very dry. I don't think this has been lubricated. Yeah, it's starting to uh, speed up and feel more normal as I turn it more, if that makes sense. But it is sort of dry. The magnets are feeling really strong, too. Compare that to my normal UM. It's much smoother. But this feels more dampened. I don't know if you can hear a sound difference. It's very... Very subtle. Overall though, I think this is a pretty good cube. Yeah, I like this. I think the gray might bother me a little bit, but once it's faded off and it's back to black, I should be able to recognize better on it. All right, so that's pretty much it for this unboxing from the cubicle.us. Uh, I am really thinking that these cubes will uh, definitely improve with some solves and setting up because uh, they all have a lot of potential. So I will work on them over the next few weeks and hopefully I'll have a review of some of them out over the summer. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.